And you touched on Frank Lowe, what's the news on him? He was out on the race course this morning. Yeah, well, the thing is, I, I, didn't, I wanted him to be working on the grass, and, and the lamp was just too soft. And uh, to go the race course side, um, I boxed him over to work on the gallop. I worked him the other day when he had his injury. I didn't really want to do that again, yeah? I didn't have the guts to do that, just in case it happened again on the bend, yeah? And um, so Michael Prosser very kindly said I could um, work him on the, on the race course, either the Craven or the course, or the, or the Guineas course. Yeah? And I, I said I'd be in touch with him. And I, I had a very nice Sorry, horse actually die yesterday. Just had a heart attack, and I was, I, I wasn't thinking, and I forgot to ring him up. Yeah? So I rang him up at some ungodly hour, like five o'clock this morning, and woke, woke him up and said, um, "I'm very apologised for not ringing you last night. Uh, can I use it?" He said, yeah, "Fine." Yeah. And, um, I'm very grateful to him. And the horse obviously in good order. He's, has he come forward from the gallop he had at, at uh, the Guinness meeting? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with him. And I sort of, you know, although he's been you know, he missed ten days, probably. Um, um, I'm hopeful that I've got him. I'm not saying he's not going to improve from the race, but I hope I've got him well enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, fingers crossed. Thanks very much, Henry. Thank you.